Hey guys, okay, so this is the first review I'm going to do for this channel, and really just, you know, as an introduction, I, like it, like it says in the title, I'm a part-time pro. I have a full-time job, um, I got, you know, five kids, a wife, the two dogs, a cat, you name it, I've got, it, you know, fish, the whole thing. And saying that, I do magic, I get paid to do magic, I got a restaurant gig, I do a show in January, or not January, from about last week of September through the first week of uh, November on Fridays and Saturdays where I perform between anywhere between 800 to 1,200 people a night. So, I mean, I do magic professionally, just not full-time. But in saying that, whatever I do buy or get or use has to meet certain requirements. It has to be usable, um, in just about every situation, um, I'm a close-up worker, but I also do like a stand-up parlor type thing for the show in October. But it's usually I'm surrounded. Um, but, you know, it has to be affordable. It can't be something I'm going to spend $70, 80 $90 for and only be able to use certain shows, certain times of the year, you know, that kind of thing. I'm not that kind of, I'm not a, I'm not an everyday worker. I'm not like an Eric Mead or something like that to where... I'm using this stuff on a nightly basis or on a weekly basis, and it makes sense for me to spend two, three hundred dollars for a prop because I'm going to get that return almost instantly. That's not the kind of magician I am. So the stuff I use, you know, it's it's in that you know thirty to a hundred dollar range, give or take, for props and um, instructional stuff, downloads and stuff like that. So whatever I get has to be affordable, has to work can be something that is not is a, just a pop dream that someone put together on a weekend and then mass produces it and says that you know they've been keeping it secret for the last 10 years you know when they've released a thousand other products which you know that's a whole other story but I'm saying that so the reviews I'm going to give they're going to be short they're going to be quick and they're basically just going to tell you whether you, I think you should get it or not whether it works for you the kind of magician that you know has to save up for props you know can't just get whatever he wants to get can't just go out without having to think about you know the electric bill or gas money or whatever it has to be thought out purchases and to me honestly if i was being honest i would say i would bet that's probably 80 percent of the magicians maybe more i don't know but i know a lot of guys look at new stuff and they want to get it but they don't for various reasons either they can't afford it or b they don't want to get it then be disappointed when they get it so hopefully i can solve some of that guy for you so the first thing I'm going to review is Nick, Nicholas Lawrence's uh, Vanishing Card. If you don't know Nicholas Lawrence, uh, I, he is probably one of my favorite creators. He creates a bunch of different things. Uh, my favorite thing that up until this uh, is Revolve, um, the the the, game, the the card where you know you drop it. It's a Mercury folded card, and it's a red card or a blue card. You drop it, and it changes colors on the way down. Probably one of the most visual changes I've ever seen. Um, I got to talk to Nick in person at a Penguin Live thing a while back, and, and not only is he one of the nicest guys I've ever met, but he's just very, very smart in the way that he thinks and the way he does things. A lot of his material, a lot of guys are afraid of because it does have some, you know, it used to have a lot of, you know, like do-it-yourself, you know, construction and stuff like that, but here lately it's kind of where he can, the gimmick's constructed, you buy it, it comes out working. Um, and the Vanishing Card is one of those things. Um, without going into detail, I can tell you this much. It, it's, uh, I think it's right at 40 bucks. I'd have to go back and look for sure. But honestly, if it was 50, 60 bucks, it's worth that for sure. You'll be able to use it for a bunch of different things. Um, the card itself, the gimmick itself is made out of a of plastic just about. So if it does get dirty, you can wash it, clean it, you know, it, so it's going to be used you can be able to get a lot of use out of it. And it's one of those gimmicks. It's kind of a utility gimmick to where, so basically what you're going to do is you, you take it, you hold it, you put it in your fingertip, and you as you go up, the car just vanishes. Uh, very little sleight of hand. Um, there, is, there is some sleight of hand involved, uh, but not a lot, depending on how you're wanting to do it. So it's just the, the sleight of hand is mainly in the cleanup. And the only reason why I know that that much is because I did it a little bit last night. So basically, my one of my favorite routines is a, the Biddle trick. 
I had that card in it. You know, I miscalled it because they, they don't see the face of the card. They just see the back of it. So I was like, you know, it was Ace of Spades. They said yes. Did the vanish. And I said, if you look inside your hand, the card is now inside your hand upside down. And, of course, they go from freaking out on the vanish because it's super visual and go straight to the cards, giving you plenty of time to get rid of the, the, the gimmick and you're clean. Um, so you can do it for a bunch of different things. It's one of those things where you could do it just for video and, you know, for your, your, uh, you know, your, your promo reel or whatever, you take the card and make it vanish. You could do that. Um, and you could do it in person. You can take the card from the top of the deck and be like, watch, I'm going to do something kind of neat. It's gone. But you can put it in your other routine. So anything, any routine that maybe you would have done like a rub a dub vanish or something like that. Now you've, now instead of doing it on the table, you've got it here, chest height, everything goes in front of the face in my mind always better so <laughs> the instruction video i think is about 20 minutes long it goes in um into how to use the gimmick why it works how it works and then techniques on how to make it look really good and in his hands looks amazing my hands i had it working in about i don't know i would say 15 20 minutes of solid just working the can looking into the camera and seeing my angles and and it's not angle sensitive at all um you can pretty much i mean just like any other vanish that you would do um you can do it for, you know as long as they're not direct, directly behind you um but even from the side you know your your hands are going to cover everything that needs to cover not and not having to cover it like making sure it's just going to cover it with the movements of the choreography of the of the vanish so the vanish is clean the angles are good um, the price is perfect. Like I said, I would have paid more for it. Um, so if you're on the fence and you're thinking about, you know, whether or not you should get this or not, I highly suggest it. It's definitely something you'll get some use out of. It's not hard. Um, it's not something that's going to break, uh, very easily. He even gives, gives tips on if it's something does come a little loose or whatever, he gives tips on how to fix that. And like I said, so again, it's affordable. It's worth the money, um, and especially if you plan on using it for other other you know routines that you already currently use a banish for. Um, it comes in red. Um, I don't think it comes in a different color, um, and it does come with an, an additional piece um, that makes it just a little bit cleaner, but it, um, it uses a black art principle, so you don't even have to use that. To me, you don't have to use it. But if you are wearing a black shirt like I am today, the, the vanish would look just slightly, just slightly cleaner, but not needed at all as far as I'm concerned. So it's a nice little piece and, you know, it, it's, you know, it'd be good for, you know, if you do that kind of thing. But, um, and also too, like he said on the, the video, it, you know, you can use it to vanish a card, but you can also, and almost easier to me is making one appear. So you would take your hand here, like you're holding a card and you swipe up and as you swipe up, the card appears. So anyways, a bunch of different things you can do with it. I, I highly suggest getting it. Um, I got it from Penguin Magic. Um, like I said, it, it came, again, Penguin's great. The guy here quick. Nicholas Lawrence, Banishing Card, get it.